Hi, this is Alex, and this is my horse, Finn. And as requested, I'm going to do a trick video, and I'm going to show you a collection of tricks that he knows, which um, are smile, and kiss, and hug, and bow. I think that's it. So we're going to start with smile. And what you want to do when you start is just basically just tickle their lip a bit, and he knows how to do it, so full just smile. But you just tickle them, their lips, and <laughs> it's easy to do it in a cross tie. Okay, so I did a pretty bad job explaining that, so I'm gonna do it again here. So how I taught Finn is um, I poked his lip and tickled it, and every time he moved it, I rewarded him. And then slowly I asked for more and more, and sooner or later they start to move it more. <laughs> and it's easier if you start in a cross tie or a stall because you're able to hold it above their head and it makes them reach for it, which means they'll actually use their lip and do the smile movement. So I show you that with Lainey better than I do with Finn. So, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. mm -hmm. This is really good. Smile. Smile. That's what it'll end up looking like. I'll show you how to teach it on a horse that's never done it before. I just walked through the first. Any more treats? We're mess right now. I'm just late. Good girl! Good girl! No, it's not. Why is it not okay? Just because I don't want to be late and make stuff wait even more than she already is. She'll be fine. Come on. I don't think she cares that much. Good girl! You should probably stop talking. You're trying to video. Good <laughs> and then with kiss, it's basically how I taught it was just I held a treat in my hand and just moved it to my chin and clapped my chin. Stop it. No. You just tap your chin like this and take kiss. Kiss. <laughs> Good boy. You just, just tap your chin and like have a treat near it. Yeah. And they'll normally touch your mouth. Okay, so even though I made this sound super complicated, it's probably the easiest trick to teach. Uh, all you basically do is you hold a treat um, at your chin or forehead or wherever you want them to start touching, and you reward them every time they go for the treat, which um, ultimately leads them to touch your face with their nose. And so you reward that behavior over and over again, and then I ended up adding a, a motion to it. So I just like tapped my chin, and he slowly figured out that hey that meant to poke you in the face so I call that a kiss and so he'll do it to everyone and poke them in the head and all these other things which is a kiss so yeah there you go yep and then a hug is pretty easy basically it's kind of like a carrot stretch when you just like um like make them bend their neck around yeah so you take this put your hand into their Okay, to be totally honest here, this isn't really a trick. I mean, I guess it is. It's basically him just trying to get a treat, and it just happens to wrap around my body. Um, so yeah, that's probably a really easy one to do as well. You can probably train them to do it without a treat, but, I mean, Finn's very food motivated, so this is as far as we've gotten. That's your hug for bow. This took him probably the longest to learn. So what you want to do is probably start just with getting yeah, their head down like this and holding up their leg. And then you just kind of move your hand back. Good boy. The hardest part for, of that for him was moving his back legs backwards. So this was definitely the hardest trick to teach him. It took like three years on and off. Um, and the other ones maybe took 20 minutes, but this one took a while. I think the hardest part for him was trusting me to actually hold his leg and understanding that he needed to move his back legs further away from his front leg so that he was actually able to go down on one leg and stay there comfortably. As soon as he got that understood, that he just needed to move his hind legs a little bit, he was pretty good. Like, it didn't take him long to actually, you know, do the trick. I think a lot of it is also like trust, so just stay patient. 
But what you want to do is you want to start with just getting their um, head down towards the ground. And um, while you do that, you should hold up one of their legs. It doesn't matter which leg you choose. But I did the left leg just because I thought that was easier for me. And you just try to get them to lean their weight back. And so what I did, I just kept moving the tree further back towards his hind legs. And that kind of made him understand that he wanted to go down and that he needed to move his hind legs. So in this video, you can see him move his hind legs so he could actually go down. And so the key to this is just stay really patient. And if they, like Finn gets really bored pretty quick with it. So I never did it a lot, which, why, which is partially why it took me so long for him to actually learn it. But just, yeah, so stay patient and listen to your horse. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> She's too famous. Hey. Are you to? She's so slobbery. Yeah, Here's but she's running. cute. <laughs> you're gonna leave her? Lady, where's he going? He's just going on his ranks. Is this going on? What's his face? Yeah, yeah. She said <laughs> no more. Here. I'm on the diet. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. She says, how about I take the treat and no exercise? <laughs> No, no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. <laughs> I've never seen him like that. Good girl! Good girl! Good job! Good girl! You know, her mouth is just like wet. <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my little trick video. Um, if you'd like me to teach him any more tricks that I could share with you guys, I will do my best. Um, yeah, so please let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And you can follow me on my Instagram. And I will um, link that in the description bar. All right. Bye, guys.